Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm gonna be going over starting to market my game. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing is now that I've actually uploaded a demo onto Steam and I have a pretty decent community considering this demo just came out um, two days ago. So I already have a few discussions going, which I'm pretty, I'm actually, I'm actually really happy with because people are talking about it and they're already letting me know any problems or things they see in the demo. A lot of these I've already fixed for the release and I've actually already prepped my game ready for release. I'm just waiting for a good timing to release it. And I heard doing it directly after Steam Next Fest is a horrible idea because the Steam Summer Sale starts a week after. And I'm not going to be really able to compete with AAA games being the same price as my own game for like around 10 bucks or less. So as you can see on the wish list, I've already gotten 68 wish lists considering this page just went live two days ago. Uh, it did update today to 68. Yesterday, it stated that I had around 57. So I didn't really get any traction at all from yesterday, uh, just about 11 wish lists, and I have six deletions. So what I wanna do next is actually go ahead and create a video game press kit and actually release this on Notion. So I'm just gonna click view template and it's gonna show all these places where I can just um, fill in my images, videos, and so on. And I actually did release a new trailer for my game, which is on a brand new account called Sirloin Studios. Uh, that is the name of my company. And as you guys know, in the future, I will be creating a game featuring Sirloin. If you're in my Discord or follow my devlogs, you've probably seen that cow quite a bit. So go ahead and give that a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And it's just more friendly gameplay that goes with the music in the video itself. So I tried to make the trailer a bit more upbeat, uh, more vibrant colors, more daytime images and sunset, trying to give it a very cozy vibe. So now what I'm going to do is actually just complete this video game press kit and get back to you. You don't have to watch me do this entire thing. All right. So I've gone ahead and created the Island Supermarket Simulator press kit, and this is essentially what it looks like. So I just changed the email, added my developer stuff, uh, genre, release date, platform, so on. I connected all the links to my socials and the link to my Steam store page. I made the about the game section, the key features, and there's this is pretty important uh, from what I read on the how to market a games Discord, is that some people, they don't really wanna read through and find images through your press kit, no matter how good it looks. Uh, they just want all the images there. So what I did here was I just stuffed all the images and GIFs into one, one Google Drive or one Google Doc kit, and pretty much they can just um, download these. So these are the still images, these are the GIFs and so on. And they can easily just upload this to their social media or their whatever media outlet they're using. I've already gotten reached out by quite a few YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok streamers. And I've just gone ahead and said, yeah, as long as you're willing to play the game on, on a social media platform, I'll give you the keys for free. And if you're interested, just let me know in the comments below or just join the Discord and get the streamer role. So if you join the Sirloin Discord, you'll see that there is a streamer section. And yeah, you can go ahead and just get a streaming role or YouTuber role and you'll be added to this and I'll be handing out keys left and right to those who put it online. And pretty much this is the press kit that I'm gonna be sending out using the Steam Curator Connect program. So there's this Curator Connect where you can essentially just type in your primary tags for your game and it'll find you a bunch of people who are into your types of genre of games and since i have this game made in a ton of languages i think i've translated this to about 25 to 30 languages now um it's probably going to do a pretty good job at finding a wide variety of audience and just because it doesn't go viral in the u.s doesn't mean it can't go viral in another country such as japan or something so i can go ahead and send it to these guys because game reviewers japan i heard they've been actually looking at some simulation games a lot lately so definitely need to add them to the list and then in this message to curators, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that link to the press kit and the Google Drive, whichever one they want to see. So I've gone ahead and made this message. Hi there. I'm excited to share my upcoming game. And I pretty much just linked them my Notion page, which is the press kit, and just directly to the Google Drive in case they just want to get to the images, logos, GIFs, and so on. And I believe there's a max of 100 people. Yeah, so it says offers available 100. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, just start dishing these out. Now that I've gathered quite a large list, as you can see on the right here, I'm going to go ahead and click send. I'm sending everyone just a copy or one copy. And now it's sent and I can actually just go ahead and click this plus button to send more copies if they wanted to giveaways or just link it on their website and so on. And now continuing my advertising or marketing journey, I've gone over to IndieDB and submitted Island Supermarket Simulator as one of the games. So you just head over to the games tab and then click add game. And then it's going to let you, you can autofill depending on your Steam app ID. It didn't let me do this, maybe because I just uploaded this game to Steam 
and then you'll upload your icon, logo, release date. Uh, you can select TBD, so no need, to do, no need to worry about that. Theme, genre, and so on. And just a summary of your game. And then after the game was added, so you have to do this first before making an actual article. So what I did next was actually just create an article. So now it's currently waiting authorization. And it's pretty much just the same thing I put on my Code with Row website. Uh, just a bunch of little small paragraphs, uh, some GIFs. And I'm actually going to upload my Steam pages to have these GIFs just because they're more appealing than just standalone text. But overall, I'm really happy with how this article turned out. And it's pretty easy for other people of media and press to follow up with me on this. All right, now I've gone ahead and updated my Steam page. So now when you scroll down and see the about this game, uh, some of these are GIFs. Uh, I think the videos are a lot more appealing to actually show the gameplay if just in case someone doesn't want to watch the trailer for whatever reason. But yeah, to me, this looks a lot uh, more visually appealing and just way better. So for example, you can see the expansion of this wall going down and then customer checkouts and so on. I'll probably have to replace this image as day and night system with the actual image or I mean with the GIF and then same with exploring the island. But for now, this actually looks really good. And I'll keep you guys updated on the wish list on what's working for me and so on. My goal is to try to get at least 500 wish lists before Steam. I was told by how to market a game, the recommended amount is getting around 2000 to really be diamond tier. So what I did was I went through a ton of his blogs on how to market a game.com. And I pretty much just asked ChatGPT to summarize my notes in a sense. And I don't mind going over this together real quick. So pretty much a Steam op optimization, uh, polish the store page, appealing screenshots, capsule images, engaging trailer, clear description. Capsule images might be something I need to change because as you can see, my capsule image on Steam, this is actually AI generated. It might be hard to tell because it actually did come out really well. I'm sure the background's a lot easier to tell than the logo itself, but it is AI generated. Uh, clear wishlist, call to actions, wishlist on Steam. So I'm doing this on my on my website, on my um, blog posts, on articles, and then also to the press and curators that I've sent it out to. And one thing that I'm also doing is, I don't really think many people will actually care about this, but I am doing a um, Trello board to let people know what updates need to happen next, which ones are done, bugs that people find, and this is pretty much just a player feedback section of what people wanna see changed or added and so on. So I thought that would be pretty cool, just some transparency, and I do update that. Uh, via my Sirloin Studio Discord, just so people can see the updates. So for example, I did change the name of the game to Supermarket Island Supermarket Simulator instead of Island Market Simulator, just because I noticed that another game was sharing the same name and I don't want to run into any legality troubles or just copy someone's name. Uh, they were there first, so I just let them know. I'm like, hey, sorry I did this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and change my name. Uh, participate actively in Steam Next Fest. So I'll be doing this. I do have a demo polished live stream gameplay. So that's something I'll probably end up doing. And then I also want to go over uh, quite a few indie games that's on my Code Row Discord that people have submitted for me to watch. Uh, niche festivals. So I need to go over these Management Fest and Sim Fest. Uploading demos to itch.io. I did it for my earlier game, but not my Island Market Simulator, but I did do it for Cozy Market Simulator. Community Discord, yes, this is currently ongoing right now. YouTube and social media, I'm doing this as well. Weekly Dev Diary videos or updates is actually pretty perfect. I should be doing this on my YouTube. Uh, I'm only going to do it on the Code of Row YouTube, not the actual Sirloin Studios YouTube, just because for that, I just want to do release trailers and actual like um more official kind of stuff as opposed to just um kind of spamming it with my content. Follow up with Curator, so I did submit that list, as you guys saw previously in the video. Reach out to YouTubers and streamers who cover sim games. So this is something I need to do. Um, I've had a few people reach out to me, but I need to actually just reach out to them. I'm gonna ask them to play the demo, and I'm not gonna polish or update the demo or fix the bugs in the demo, but I will do it for the release. Uh, create a short press kit, already did that. Submit a quick email pitch to indie blogs and websites, IndieDB, niche sim blogs. So I only did it for IndieDB right now, and I have to, Currently, what I'm going to do tonight is look for more uh, simulator blogs and do that. And then regular Steam announcements. This is something I need to get on. Uh, right now, I do have quite a few people messaging and leaving feedback on Steam. But I am going to, or I just respond to those and just let them know what's go what's up, what's going on. Monitor, wishlist, count weekly, double down on effective tactics, blah, blah, blah. So this great teaser, upcoming features, or updates consistently. 
This is something I'm going to be showing very soon. Uh, I just want to get the traffic system of my game in place just to make the city look more lively. And Unity has this thing called Dots, which just you can simulate thousands and thousands of actors while it's very and extremely performant. So it won't be an issue to run on low end PCs as well. And that pretty much covers today's video. This is just going to be the start of learning for me, learning how to actually market my indie game um, for for island supermarket simulator and if you're curious on cozy market simulator there is a demo available and this is live as well uh the graphics in terms of the characters are from the same pack from it happy studios um but the assets in here are directly from it happy so you can see like the wooden background the buildings in the background and these food items are all from it happy studios whereas for island supermarket simulator these are all uh sinti assets except for the characters and then the sky system is just your cozy sky from the Unity Asset Store. It's really nice and you can customize it however you want. You can add ambience to it. You can change the weather of it and so on. And yeah, overall, really, really nice looking assets. So I'm going to be building more games out with this. And I plan to do some crafting ones in the future, uh, maybe some fantasy ones and some 3D printing ones and space themed and so on. I'm just going to be on the shop sim hype right now and cr create quite a few of these kind of rinse and repeat the process before actually creating one where you're a third person top down sirloin you know cow character that i have and then i want to do a top down kind of really cutesy cozy shop sim from a third person view because uh, i've gotten a few feedback where people were asking if instead of fps can i make a third person one i do want to cater to everyone as much as i can and i will go ahead and do that but yeah thanks for sticking around thanks for watching Curtis row like subscribe comment below what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching